One of the most boring things about going to work is the office lobby. Sure, there's Clara sitting at the security desk. Don't get me wrong, I love Clara. There are a few chairs, maybe some magazines from 1993. But what if you came to work and you had to walk through a waterfall or a redwood forest just to get to your desk? Well, now there's a group of innovators that can make that happen. And a big bonus is that you don't need bug spray. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Imagine your day starting this way, entering a redwood forest or chasing waterfalls. With the vision of the people at a company called Obscura Digital, otherwise mundane services can look like this. Reimagining the ordinary by using lights, projection, and sophisticated photography that captures and celebrates nature's bounty. I went to San Francisco to meet the gang at Obscura Digital and to get a glimpse inside this world of illusion. One man directly involved in the creative vision of the wall seen here in the lobby of a company called Salesforce is Obscura's senior art director, Emmett Feldman. We want our visuals to kind of create this seamless experience within the environment. They capture footage in the field, such as in a redwood forest, and in innovative studio setups. Then the images are manipulated to put on display. When you're shooting this, we really wanted it to make it feel like you're looking through a window. This is Travis Threlkel, co-founder of Obscura Digital, who is awed by his team's work on the Salesforce wall. What was your reaction to that wall when you first saw it? Oh, I loved it. It's really, really beautiful. The detail in the work and having the fidelity um, of the technology today, it really becomes very convincing. And it was really entertaining for me to watch how people reacted to it. The projects Travis and his colleagues create exemplify limitless scale, both in terms of physical space, such as on iconic buildings, and overall message. Why are so many of the pieces you make so richly natural? Why do you focus on ecology and the environment and animals? We are definitely environmentalists here, and we care very much about the sustainability and the protection of our planet. And the nature of what we do with visualization and using technology is to help people see things that aren't seen, ways of looking at the invisible. Seemingly, no canvas is too big. From the Empire State Building, to the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi, to the Vatican, and more. In terms of hardware, are you projecting images onto flat surfaces, or are they LED or backlit? Um, we use everything. Projection's really great for using things that are very three-dimensional and have a lot of form and shape because you can essentially apply it. So it's like spray painting the world with, with video. These are ephemeral moments that happen and then it's gone as a three-dimensional canvas that already has that pre-charged gravitas with mm -hmm. certain buildings. Then when we do another layer of visual illusion and other kinds of storytelling, it just has a complete new power. Travis showed me one of their ground-level projects, giving new meaning to pool table. We're just looking at sort of a blend of what's real and what's unreal. How is that happening? It's a camera tracking sensor up here, so we're doing depth detection, so you won't get anything until you get down here. This feels like magic. It's an augmented reality. An augmented reality that allows your imagination to wander and wonder and dream. 